Hi, we have seen the block diagram of regulated DC power supply in the last video. Actually, what is the DC power supply? Regulated DC power supply we have seen it is like nothing but adapter for mobile charges or chargers of laptop or chargers of or whatever it is. Where we are taking the power supply, AC power supply, and converting that one to DC and to operate our electronic equipment. They Regulated DC power supply and they are inevitable for the electronics engineers because to operate most of our electronic equipment we require this regulated DC power supply. So the design of DC power supply is one of the important area. Not area means uh, when we when you are doing the project, one of the important part is the design of power supply. Then we have seen transformer rectifiers, filters, regulators, and load. These are different components of the regulated power supply where AC line from where we are taking the uh, supply to the devote and by using 3 pin or 2 pin for the case of laptop it will be 3 pin for the case of mobile most probably it is 2 pin then load load is nothing but to where we are connecting the uh, charger that is and to for the case of laptop we are connecting the charging point of laptop for the case of mobile phone charging point of mobile phone that is the load point then here we have seen the next one from the uh, ac supply we are uh, giving that one to transformer we have seen why we are taking transformer to down convert this uh, incoming voltage to 40 voltage to near to uh, 5 10d volt or 5 volt to that level to down convert we are using transformer then we are applying that one to rectifier this is the heart of the dc power supply rectifier normally we are saying the application of a laptop it is sorry application of a diode it is one of the application is rectification a rectification is converting ac to dc and even though we are getting dc signal we are passing that one to different stages filters regulators finally we are giving to load so what is the difference between this DC signal and this DC signal? Actually both of them are DC. Generally we are seeing DC has zero frequency. It is not true. This DC has zero frequency and this DC has frequency. So what is the difference between these two? This is pulsating DC. It has frequency. That is it's a combination of AC and DC. But it is purely DC. Only is, and there is no any fluctuation or pulsating and this is AC signal so what is the difference between these three signals that one we can easily understand from this figure consider there is a current source it is supplying for ampere current and this one is a uh, for ampere current from positive point of this supply to negative point of supply it is giving for ampere so this one is supplying for ampere current then actually what is current so this is corresponding to this diagram is this is the supply and this is the load and this is the diagram of that um, current it is supplying actually what is current movement of electron isn't it and actually what is one ampere current one ampere current means 6.24 into 10 raised to 80 electrons are moving in one second that is one ampere current 4 ampere current means 4 into 6.24 into 10 raised to 18 electrons are moving for namesake for easy to analyze we are saying one ampere means 10 electrons are moving which means 4 ampere means 40 electrons are moving from where to where this positive sign of this source to negative sign of the source so that is 40 electrons are moving from this positive sign of the source to negative sign of the source it is 4 ampere current and it is constant there is no any fluctuation if you are taking this second next second or 5 second later or 10 second later if 100 today or tomorrow whatever the time that time also the only 40 electrons it is constantly moving from positive to negative this is the pure the or ideal dc there is no any fluctuation in the case of amplitude 
then what is ac ac is if you are taking this signal the same case you can say it is for peak to peak uh, you can consider ac like this this is ac and its amplitude is uh, the amplitude is 4 ampere peak to peak you can say it is 4 ampere peak to peak means it is plus 4 and this one is minus 4 then what is the difference of the difference of this signal compared to the first one it is if you are seeing the same analysis one number is 10 electrons then first time it is one amber current is flowing then next time it is two amber current is flowing this is two amber current is flowing means at this time one amber current that is at one second one amber current is flowing means within one second it is 10 electrons are flowing from positive to negative then next second 2 amber current in 2 second 2 amber current is flowing means its meaning is by this 2 amber current is flowing mean by 2 second 20 electrons are moving by 2 second 20 electrons are moving like that 3 second 3 el 30 electrons are moving 4 second 40 electrons are moving then it is reaches its peak body then again next uh, fifth second 30 electrons are moving 60 second 20 electrons are moving 70 second 10 electrons are moving 8 second 0 electrons are moving so you can see from this positive to this negative from this positive to this negative you are taking each second the number of electrons it is moving it is changing it is first it is 10 electrons 20 electrons 30 electrons 40 electrons then again it is decreasing 30 20 10 and 0 electrons then it is minus 4 ampere what is meaning of that one it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 what do you mean by minus 1 its meaning is minus 10 electrons are moving what is the meaning of minus 10 from this point to this point 10 electrons are moving that is the direction is changed that is minus 1 ampere minus 2 ampere means 20 electrons are moving from this opposite direction the direction what we have taken in the first case that is just changed so it is minus 20 then minus 30 minus 40 then again it is decreasing so for ac what do you mean by ac ac is nothing but its uh, direction is changing uh, not only direction along that one its amplitude also changing that is in one time this much electrons are moving next time the number of electrons are moving also changing and after some time its direction also changing so this is ac signal ac means alternating current means alternatively it is changing its direction next one we can see <coughs> this pulsating dc so from the explanation of these two signal you may understand what is pulsating dc actually in the case of pulsating dc take again this is 4 ampere then what is its meaning the first second 10 electrons are moving to this direction next second 20 electrons are moving next is 30 electrons are moving and after 4 second 40 electrons are moving then again it is become 30 20 10 and 0 after so that is this full half cycle then after that again 10 electrons are moving in the same direction only it is not going to change it is not going to change that is the advantage and that, that is the difference compared to the first waveform the same direction 10 20 30 40 and 30 20 10 
and it is repeating. Means here amplitude is changing. Number of electrons are moving is changing in each second, but its direction is not changing. Here both number of electrons are changing and direction also changing. For a particular duration of time, number of electrons are moving are changing. After that duration of time, its direction is changing and again repeating the number of electrons are changing. Here, whatever the time, the both number of electrons moving as well as its um, direction both are same. Means here amplitude is constant and direction also constant. Here amplitude and direction is changing. Here only amplitude is changing. And this is the desired signal we require to operate our electronic equipments. For that purpose, we require a constant DC, not pulsating DC. And due to that reason, we are going to pass this pulsating DC through filter and regulator and regulator. And finally, we are getting the desired value. Okay. Then, next one. So, we have seen each of this one. Power supply to 20 volt, 50 hertz. Transformer, what is the purpose of transformer? Rectifier, what is the uh, it's diode that converts the AC input to pulsating DC voltage? And only suitable to use as a battery charger. Pulsating DC is only suitable to use as a battery charger, not good enough to use a DC power supply in radio stereo system. So that we are converting this pulsating DC to a constant DC by passing through filter. And next one, uh, the regulator. The next one, rectification. So rectification also we have seen is a process of converting an uh, alternating quantity that is pulsity, the uh, change in the current or voltage which is change in the direction to a unidirectional supply. Unidirectional supply it is known as DC direct current. So rectifier is an electronic device. Oh, it's not electron device, electron circuit, which is used for converting alternative quantity into unidirectional signal. And in that electronic circuit, the major component is nothing but um, diode. So basically, two types of rectifiers are there: half wave and full wave. Full wave is again classified as center tapped and bridge full wave rectifier. Okay. And finally, we are passing this one. Already we have seen filter and regulator for getting constant DC. So, <clears throat> this one, what is the need of rectification? We have seen the AC is always changing its direction. We have to convert that one to a unidirectional signal. For that one, we are using um, rectifier. So, this here, we can see what is this we are not going to see detail about uh, half wave and center tap to full wave rectifier. We are going to see detail of bridge rectifier only. Anyway, I will just explain the basics of half wave rectifier. The center tap to full wave rectifier you have to study by yourself. That uh, the half wave, full, uh, half wave rectifier that we can see right now. Uh, that we, Sorry, that we can see in the next video.